Okay, now we want to talk about the pelvic cavity. Remember, that's going to be that cavity right down here in the base of the abdominal pelvic cavity, and there's no membrane that separates these out. It's just kind of a delineation of this, this opening right here that holds all the reproductive and some of your urinary organs. So let's start first. Um, we talked about you had the, the kidneys that have a ureter that comes down to them, and then that goes into the bladder. Well, let's start first and look at the male. Um, there's your bladder sitting right on top of the male. Now remember, that would be sitting like that. So everybody knows what makes a male a male and a female a female. You've got a penis on a male, and then you have the testes and the scrotum, but we're not going to get into all that. Right now, I just want you to understand that there is a bladder, and then if you open it up and look on the inside, this bladder, that's that big pocket right there, has a tube that drains urine from the bladder all the way to the outside of the body. So you go from the bladder to the urethra. So you have kidney to ureters to bladder, and then bladder to urethra to the outside. So on the male, you have the penis, and then inside, the pen uh, uh, inside these little pockets here called the scrotum, you're gonna have the testes, but that's about all you need to know for right now. Um, if you look at the male model over here, you can see the um, bladder is right here. So you want to find the ureters that come down to the bladder. So on this side, it's going to be, there's the ureter coming down into the bladder. And then, of course, it's cut off on this side, but that's actually it right there. So your kidneys would be sitting up here. And then they have these ureters that come down to the bladder. And then if you look at this model right here, if you just cut it right in half like that, that's going to be a sagittal section there. So you're looking at a sagittal section here. And again, you've got the bladder, and then the tube that drains the bladder and goes through the penis is going to be the urethra. And so that takes urine from the bladder all the way out to the outside of the body. Notice also, too, you can see the rectum real good. Remember that straight portion of the uh, colon? That's the rectum, and that's going to come down right there, and then you have that opening right there, which is the anus. All right, that's the male. Then on the female, You've got the same setup. You've got the kidneys draining urine through the ureters to the bladder. But then in the female, your bladder is going to be a little bit harder to uh, figure out. You've got the bladder that sits underneath this uterus. So the uterus is where the uh, fetus will actually develop and grow. You'll learn more about that later on. But the, the uterus sits on top of the bladder. And the way I always remember this is you think about a pregnant woman. woman. Pregnant woman always has to pee a lot because she's got this big baby developing in this uterus and is pushing down on that bladder and is forcing her to feel like she's got to urinate a lot. Um, so there's your uterus, there's your bladder, and notice there's just a little short tube right here, which is your, your urethra that drains the urine from the bladder to the outside on the female. Again, you've got your ureters coming down and going in to the back side of this bladder. Um, you can see it a little bit different on this model. Um, there is your, your uh, hello, uterus sitting on top, and then there's the bladder sitting on the bottom. Um, do we need to go into ovaries and? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you've also got, coming into this uterus, uh, you've got two tubes that lead to it, and they're coming from these little uh, almond-shaped or kind of oval-shaped organs here. These are your uh, ovaries. The ovaries are where the eggs are made, um, and so the ovaries come down through, and they send their eggs through these tubes going to the uterus. The tubes are called the fallopian tubes. And then inside the uterus, you can see where those, those tubes will come down, and you've got an opening in there. There's a cavity in there, and that's where the fetus is going to develop. Again, your uterus sits on top of your bladder, so there's your urinary bladder. And then that little short tube right there is your urethra that drains the bladder. The tube that comes from the uterus that goes to the outside, which would be the birth canal that the baby is going to pass through right there, that's your vagina. So you've got this uterus that will actually open up and expand, and then the opening going out there is going to be your vagina. So if you're looking on this sagittal section of this model, you've got the bladder and the urethra, you've got the uterus and the vagina, 
And then you have the rectum and the anus coming out this way. Okay? Yeah. Um, and you can see the ovary. Yeah, and you can also see the ovary right there. And then there's the, the fallopian tube that comes up and goes into that uterus. So there's the fallopian tube right there. Uh, let me go back to the male model and just make sure um, I, you understand that I, I didn't mention a lot about that. Um, on the male model, you've got your, get it straight here, you've got your bladder and the urethra comes out and goes through the penis. So that's going to be your penis hanging out on the outside here. And then you've also got this pouch known as the scrotum. It's just a pouch, but the ha pouch holds the uh, organs known as the testes. One is a testis, T-E-S-T-I-S, -E -S -S, two are testes, T-E-S-T-E-S. -E -S. Um, so that would be a testis, and that is the organ that makes the sperm, and you'll learn more about that later. So you've got bladder, urethra, penis on the inside and outside, and then on the outs uh, outside you have the scrotum, and inside you have the testis. Ms. Graham, could you explain the difference between cervical and cervix? Okay, cervix is going to be the neck of your bladder. So if you have a cervix, <laughs> cervix, sorry. This, this, okay, one more thing about the uterus. A lot of people will hear the term, um, I went to my doctor and they said something about my cervix. And then they'll hear, well, this is your cervical region, your neck. So cervix or cervical region is neck, okay? So the cervix of the uterus is going to be this skinny portion right here that kind of dips down into the vagina. So that's the cervical portion of your uterus. This is the cervical portion <laughs> of your neck, okay? Or it is your cervical portion. So cervix just means neck, okay? Thank you.